today I'm going to be filling another spread in my sketchbook with a little twist. I'm only going to let myself use one hue, specifically red. I also have white and black to add lightness or saturation to it if I so desire. And I'm not going to limit myself to only drawing red things. If I want to draw a red sunflower, I'm going to draw a red sunflower. Let's jump on in and fill this entire spread. I'm also going to use a red pencil so I don't have to worry about any graphite bleeding into the paint. I've really been into painting lately. I just want to get better, so I gotta keep doing it. I'm gonna start and warm up a little. Probably just draw a random character. We obviously have a lot of sketchbook here to fill, so we'll have lots of room to experiment with other things. Always start light and do some basic shapes, kind of fill the page, and then I'll go in and add detail. Unless I'm really lazy and I like put a lot of work into the head first, which is a no-no. <laughs> I'm gonna draw someone with a cape. You gotta love sketching. There's no real way to mess it up. <laughs> because messing up is the first step of making something else, you know? I decided to use the color red because, uh, you know, it's at the top of the rainbow usually, right? Maybe we can fill a different couple spreads with each different color and then when I flip through the book, it'll look like a rainbow. <laughs> These are the dumb things I occupy my brain with. I'm gonna move the hand up here. And maybe there's like a cape. I'm picturing like one of those like 19, I don't know, 40s or 50s. Actually, it might be the 60s. Like double-breasted kind of jackets that had like a cape. Might need a reference for that. I'm gonna add a little bit more pizzazz to the cape. Have it blowing out into the distance. Gotta add some hair in here. Something a little bit vintagey looking too. Maybe with like a headband. And as I'm filming this, we're in the last week of November, so I just wanted to like, you know, take a minute and appreciate the red hue that occupies this world. <laughs> now for this drawing, I don't think I want to like render it as much as I want to kind of go with a flat gouache kind of look. I don't know, you see it with gouache a lot. Obviously you can fully render out with gouache too, but it's kind of a style that I see with gouache. And it's, it's kind of like cell shading, but maybe without any shading. <laughs> I totally forgot legs, didn't I? She looks like a fancy business lady. <laughs> Just keep keep her some simple rectangle legs, will be fine. Right, I'm feeling a lot more warmed up now. I had a lot of fun using the oils from, what was that? Powerful Packs box? I think it was Powerful. And I, I do want to explore oils too, but I'm drawing in a sketchbook. So if I want to use the sketchbook again, in the next eternity. I can't use oils because this will never dry and acrylics is the way to go. And I, they work pretty similarly just in the fact that they're both paint and that is something I need to improve with just in general. So it'll work just fine. I'm just connecting the shape of the cape like it's one skirt but with a space in the middle. Kind of helps me find a really fun shape. It's like a weird vintage retro future kind of outfit. <laughs> Yeah, I want to add in some paint though. Oh, oh, this is literally the only reason I'm drawing right now is because I want to use paint. So <laughs> I'm like just like rushing through the sketch. We're gonna need some red, and probably a lot of white, some black if I want to desaturate some. This is actually zinc. I don't own black paint, but it should work. All right, so let's get some mid tones in here. Like I'm using my palette knife. So fancy. All right, and that should be good enough to start with. We can make sure we keep our tones pretty separate is also something I'm practicing and I want to continue to get better at. Should be a good start. I also have some water and I need a paintbrush. Put that over there. Da -ba, da -da -da -da. Ew, this paintbrush is dirty. There we go. Cleaned it. <laughs> Currently didn't do that before I put it away. Let's go in and layer in the tones. We know we want something pretty dark here and probably desaturated. So I'll start with that. This uh, reddish gray color. Color in our shadows because that's the one thing I know where I want it. <laughs> no other reason. Probably gonna need a couple layers if I want it to look like a solid flat color. So this first step here is just making sure we get all our tones in the right place and there's contrast between each of them. I think <laughs> I'm talking like I know what I'm doing. This is just what I'm learning. It would be really nice if I actually had black paint. I like black um, acrylic ink. That might be helpful. Something I'm realizing as I get older, and I think it's what keeps drawing me back to art, is that if there's no like limit to improvement, you just keep, keep going, which makes it so much more interesting. And so it never gets boring. 
<laughs> and then there's more art supplies that you can try even if you get really good at one. I was never really into like painting, but like lately it's just been whew, tickling my fancy. And by sticking to only one hue, I can really practice like actually painting instead of having to worry about the colors or like the color scheme, which is something I also need to improve on. But again, <laughs> there's so much to do. And then red, I want to be a very predominant color, just like the flat red. The dress definitely takes up more space, so I think we'll probably go there. And we're going to have to make some more tones for like shading. But let's start there, fill in this whole shape. Probably could actually get a bigger brush for this. This will help me get up to the edges too really easily because it is a flat brush. Definitely going to need a couple layers of this one. Get this other sleeve, should we be the same color? And then I want something slightly desaturated there, so I'm going to mix this color in with a little bit more red. Distinguish those two elements. Here we have our classy business red riding head. <laughs> Just need to add another layer of the straight red. Make sure we get all the paper covered. Alright, I also want to use straight red for the headband. I think that'll look cute. Just need to go in and add in the rest of the tones here. <laughs> I think I'm gonna mix a little bit of this lighter pink color when we move into this body section. Try not to over render. I'm trying to learn how to keep things separate with just tones before I go in and start shading things too much. Couple layers. It's looking a little bit more even. It's hard to get those like little white spots. So that's what smaller brushes are for. All right, next we gotta do the skin. I'm not sure how to go about this. Mix it with some water so that we can see through it at first. Let's start with a much lighter tone because usually as I do the face, it gets darker and darker and we don't want to get too dark compared to like the hair. So if we start really light, by the time I'm done, we have something that looks good with the rest of the drawing. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to start lighter than this. If I go any darker, it's gonna lose a lot of the contrast. We can also layer some lighter colors on top. It's not really how I usually think. That's like not how my brain works, but we can try. Why not? We're in a sketchbook. It's supposed to be a safe place to experiment. Ooh, this looks something else. Okay, let's mix a lighter color then. I'm gonna have some highlights. It was getting messy. <laughs> what am I doing? Maybe if I just lighten the whole thing up and then I can start adding in darker tones. Again, I'm kind of trying to keep it pretty flat looking, but faces are my favorite thing to render, so chances of it being too flat are slim. Oh, we totally forgot eyebrows. Desaturated red. Ain't these guys are in? Oof. It's the small details that I have the most trouble with with a paintbrush because I'm just not that fluent with a paintbrush yet. <laughs> One's higher than the other. I'll take it. I'll wait for that to dry before I go in on the eyes. Let's move over to the rest of the skin. Go slightly darker for this next leg to kind of like separate it. Oop, a little darker than that though. To make them look like two legs, hopefully. By the time I'm done with this, try to do some kneecaps. <laughs> there you go. They look kind of like knees. Again, I said I wasn't going to over render this. Judy's hands. I, sh I picture she's doing something like this. Let's go ahead and add in the light tone first. <laughs> now what? I guess we can add slight tones. So like there might be shadow on the face of the knuckles, like here. And then obviously the hand down here will be a little bit more in shadow. Okay, I want to darken up the underhand a little. It's blending in too much. We also don't want it to blend in with the dress. <laughs> Keeping working at it. There we go. I think that's probably enough <laughs> for what I'm going for. All right. Oh, eyeballs, eyeballs. Let me try that acrylic ink. What the heck did I do? Now I'm afraid it's going to explode up. Right, we'll just get a little bit in this and put that back. <laughs> and do the eyeballs. And eyelashes. Wow, that's so much easier than a paintbrush. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Probably a little harsh of black since I didn't use black anywhere else. It's probably will take a little second to dry. Maybe add a nostril in here or two. I don't want to go in and add too much detail. That wasn't the point. I wanted to keep it kind of abstract and flat. Unless I want to go in and add any straight black anywhere. 
I'm doing too much. No, 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 no. That's not what I want. <laughs> gonna let those eyelashes dry. I'm a little worried I'm gonna touch them. Let's go back to the pencil. Make myself some space here. Now I can draw whatever I want. Doesn't have to be something that needs to be red. But now that I'm looking at the color red, I really want to draw this girl again. <laughs> Maybe we'll save that for last. I want to do some like more simple sort of things, like sort of studies of, I don't know, hands or flowers or something. Let me just draw some hands. I don't know. Anything that I can like practice the tones, which is anything, I guess. There's a hand, isn't it? That looks like a hand. <laughs> Gotta just block out the shapes. I'm gonna just draw this hand right here. How's that for a reference? Um, here. <laughs> Kind of want to try and render that one out a little bit. So let's grab our paint, whatever's still wet. I'm gonna start with our primary red. Just fill things in. Looks a little bloody. <laughs> Ew. This is a definitely a different way of doing it. I've never painted this way. I usually start light as possible and then darken things up. Oh, that is way too gray. Ugh. I'm very confused now. Just looking at it, salvage it. Don't have to worry about overworking it. Because I'm not hanging it up on any walls here. Actually ran out of red paint. Kind of just using this big brush and seeing what happens. It's keeping me very loose. And I have to apply kind of large chunks, so I have to commit. And I was already kind of figured that I ruined it anyway, so... <laughs> it's kind of fun at this point. Can't make it worse. That's my motto. Definitely not enough contrast. Gotta keep working on that. I think I'd like to trim up the wrist a little. I'm just gonna take straight white paint and kind of just chisel it. Kind of breaking the fingers into three sections. Hmm. Next! I don't really wanna- I'm gonna kind of- <gasps> Ooh, that could be cool! <laughs> what am I even saying? I'm just gonna chisel out this with red paint. Kind of give it the illusion that I didn't ignore it. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and fill the rest of this page though. I'm not entirely sure what to draw. So at this point, it's gonna be a girl. <laughs> kind of want to try something a little different with the face, maybe be a little bit more impressionistic. If that means just one stroke of paint for the face, then that's what it means. I don't know, kind of just playing around. Try to find some shapes in here, in the scribbles. Go ahead and add in some color. Well, I mean, it's already red, but more red. Kind of just want to paint the face. Let's be honest. I'm gonna get right in on in here. Let's start. I don't know. That was really hard to do. This was a little bit easier. Let's start even lighter and see what difference that makes. So this light, light pink. It's a little transparent, so we can kind of just go over everything. And add some red to this pink. A little shadow. Pretty dark. But we can blend that out. I'm gonna mix, switch back to the lighter or the smaller brush. I think probably bring the nose up a little, maybe. The eyes I'm noticing are a little crooked. <laughs> Didn't notice that in the sketch, but I'm noticing it now. I can move the eye up a little and move this one down a little more. I feel like it's kind of pulling away from where I want it. I'm just kind of blend out some of the edges for now. Kind of outline where the eyebrows were again. <laughs> I think that's adding to the kind of like unsettling nature of this. Blend this out a little. For some reason the paint's drying way faster. I don't know if it's like getting really warm in here or something. <laughs> Hair up on top. I'm not done with the face, but I just want to kind of try something else. Just using straight zinc, I think was the name of the color. See how that affects what I'm looking at. I do like the contrast between it and the face. It kind of puts how dark I've gone into perspective. Like I thought when I laid down that like little shading under the nose, I was like, whoa, that's dark. Because <laughs> now I see that it's still all looks pretty light. I definitely have room for adjustments. So with this face, I tried to go darker with like some of the tones. And this one I was trying to be as subtle as possible, but I like that one's look better than this. So that might be something to keep in mind for future portraits. Is kind of try to stay subtle and you'll get the look you're looking for. <laughs> Versus go all in for what you're looking for and end up with something that's a little bit more messy. Do you want to try going in with some of this acrylic ink and paint in some pupils? There's some contrast. Try to do the eyelashes. Get up a little higher. <laughs> 
try and get these even. I think I'm actually just going to use the paintbrush and really try to do some larger eyeliner. Oh, it's a bit more of a puppy dog look than the cat eye. Add a little shading on the lip. Oh, go ahead and just kind of almost add line art but with a brush. Doing finer details. I'm trying to figure out this collarbone. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, those are big. I think I'm ready to move on from this one. Here's what we have so far, filling this spread. I do want to just fill in this last space though, before I leave you. So let's draw one final character. I am thinking I kind of want to redraw our little red girl over here with the horns. <laughs> let's do a nice close up. She has a bit more of a angular face. So there's a little bit more um, straight lines. And it kind of is like dark up here on the forehead. And she has some bangs that kind of stick out between them. And I had her hair up in a bun, but we could uh, play around with that. She's not gonna always wear the same outfit, right? <laughs> Just like she's not gonna have the same hairstyle all the time. But you're kind of angry. We'll keep that. Hold the eyebrows down. Probably should uh, give her a body. <laughs> she's a little bit like Maleficent, isn't she? <laughs> Just a smidge. Oh, she had earrings on. Totally forgot. Let it down a little, maybe. Keep it kind of blobular. <laughs> That's my favorite. Now this drawing, we're gonna use a lot more of that zinc color and maybe even some of this acrylic ink too. I'm just gonna go ahead and color those in right now. Now we mix that with some red for the forehead section. Oh, I don't think I made her forehead quite as big as I did last time. Shoot. You're not going to see as much this cool, fun gradient as it fades down into a lighter red, almost pink. When I do a second layer, I'll make sure I don't have, you have that zinc on there. It's a little gray looking. Try and blend that out a little bit more. Maybe it's a smaller brush. Just kind of swirly motions. Now it's come down a little bit farther than it did on the last sketch. So it's probably going to have to come in, kind of just bring it up a little more. Add a little bit more red when it comes to the nose. Starting with just a triangle for the nose and then hopefully I can work from there. It's not related to, to Wario, it's working on it. Blend out the nose seam. <laughs> the nose seam. Find the colors that we're looking for. It's kind of fun using darker colors. I usually try to draw more saturated perky pictures. <laughs> Find a change you. A little highlight to the cheekbones to make them protrude a little. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> the paintbrush almost touched the face. That would have been sad. I'll just redraw the earrings in. <laughs> Fill in this last bit. All right, now I'm looking at the colors and they look a little weird. <laughs> I think if I maybe desaturate this section of the hair, that might help. I'm gonna mix in a little bit of the zinc that in back here. I think it's the pink that I don't really like, but we'll see what we can do. Maybe just desaturate back here a little, but not too much. See if that makes the color scheme a little bit more soft and less jarring. The pink still feels weird, but I'm thinking maybe when I add in the eyebrows and the eyeliner and everything, that'll be a little bit more subtle. I also want to take the black acrylic ink and just fill in this circle. I love how this stuff looks. It's so solid. Try to make it pretty circular. Woo! I love like cutting in the edge like that. I'm also gonna like add a little darkness to the tips of her horns. <laughs> love the way paint feels when you touch it. <laughs> texture like when you go from smooth paper to bumpy paint to smooth paper to bumpy paint Try to get them to match doesn't quite look like the same character i'm noticing the eyes i think are bigger but some pupils might help no it definitely looks like a different character <laughs> oopsie oh well
Oh, we can't forget the earrings. Let's try and sign my name with a brush. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Hmm. All right, use up the leftover paint. Might as well take advantage of the pigment. There we go. <laughs> now that I've thoroughly redified that page, I think I am ready to <laughs> close the book on this one. Well, as soon as it dries. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys all next week, and I hope you have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye!